Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business. I can't stress how important having a sign up, an email sign up tool on your website is. It's so important. And I know people who send emails out, businesses that send emails out once a week, once a month, however often. And I'm like, well, how do you get people to your database? How do you get people into the list? I know one business, one restaurant that has no tool on their website and they have no way of signing new people up in their restaurant. They don't have a survey at the end, they don't have a piece of paper, they don't have a sign up slip. So they're sending out to a couple hundred people and that's all they've really ever had. So as, as a business owner, your most valuable, uh, most valuable asset is your database. Your database is who you market to. Now some people are going to go on to your email sign up box, your email sign up gadget on your website, or you can even do it on Facebook now. Your fan page allows for you to sign up. Constant Contact, I'm sure the other companies too, have a link, you just link it and it does it automatically, it merges and you can go on to your fan, Facebook fan page and they can sign up and get you can get all the information you need and then you can start sending them emails. Now some people are going to sign up and are not going to come into your restaurant. They may never come into your restaurant. But they're going to know about you, right? Now, here's a true experience from just last week in my restaurant. A couple brought their, their son and daughter in. Son and daughter were, were in their 40s. <clears throat> the couple was older. And they had a phenomenal time, phenomenal time. So I was talking to them. I said, well, how did you hear about us? It's your first time. How did you hear about us? He goes, I get your emails. So I said to him, and this is a guy who's probably 70 years old, 75 years old. I said, well, how did you get, our, get on our email list? He goes, oh, I went to your website and I signed up four years ago. And I said, wow. And he goes, you know, I read your emails. I know all about you and I've never been in. And I decided it was time to come to your business. And he goes, we're going to be back. I brought my, my son and, and daughter-in-law and I, we're all having a fantastic time. He goes, I cannot wait to come back. Now, it took four years <clears throat> for them to actually come into my, to come into my building, into my restaurant, into my business. But if I didn't have that email sign up box on my website, they would have, I would have never had that business. I would have never had that business. So I sent to about five, 6,000 people a week. I sent twice a week. I have another account where I send to 1,700, I have 1,700 people on the list. Um, it's for something totally different than my restaurant. It's for another um, sort of like nonprofit that I send to, Elmville Run Like the Wind Race, which I do that. That's included in there. <coughs> so, Whatever you're promoting, whether it's a, a nonprofit entity, whether it's a, a race, um, an event or something that you do once a year, like we, in Ellenville we'd have a blueberry festival. If I was in charge of the blueberry festival, I would be making sure I send out tons of emails to people. And I'd get people on a database. I'd make sure that at the blueberry festival it happens once a year. I'd have some kind of sign up some kind of sign up and giveaway, like give away $100 gift certificates for this, this, and this, and have people sign up so you can get those people into the database so you can keep marketing to them. Now here is the rule. It's six times easier to get somebody into your business the second time, into your restaurant the second time, versus getting a new customer for the first time. And how do you get a person in for the second time? You communicate to them, and the best way to communicate is email. So make sure your website and your Facebook is equipped to have email signups, get them in your database, and make sure at the end of the meal in your business, however, you're handing out surveys, <coughs> you're encouraging people to give you an email, give you permission to send them. Don't go rob emails from other people, because that you'll get in trouble for that. You have to have, they have to have permission. They have to be, you know, they have to opt in. They have to want to get information from you. But make them a give them a reason to want to get information from you. Make your emails interesting, fun, exciting. Don't make them constant sales pitches, make them valuable information that people can actually share. But get that email sign-up list on your Facebook and on your website. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at help at 50mistakes.com.